Welcome to my slideshow overview of the Gundam Astro Red Frame Perfect Grade. Uh, this is, project took me probably about a year on weekends and evenings sometimes. Uh, so quite a lot to do. Approximately 600 pieces that required painting. Uh, many of which were the inner frame that didn't end up being shown at all. Uh, anyway, I'll walk you through. These are the grey parts, just fully primed, looking pretty good just on their own like that. I uh, would be tempted maybe to build one just like that. Needed to do quite a few colour tests for the pre-shading, so here's just a light grey compared to a dark grey. Uh, just trying to figure out how light and dark I needed to go for the different colours. Because you obviously want the pre-shade to come through, but not too strong. These are the feet fully primed and pre-shaded, just an example of how many lines and edges there are to pre-shade, so quite time consuming to do a pre-shade. This is an oil wash and enamel wash test, so on the left I've got the enamel wash and on the right I have an oil wash. For whatever reason the oils just seem to spew everywhere and creep everywhere, so I decided to go with enamel washes. There's a dark grey applied to the red components. Uh, you know, fairly messy, but you can then use the uh, like an odorless turpentine from Mig Bogdots, for example, just to do a bit of a clean up. So there, they're looking pretty clean. Not perfect, but doesn't need to be. Yeah, you can see all the detail of the inner frame. Uh, so much tubing and piping. Uh, some people do like to paint those in, but I just felt they would have taken far too long. You'll see in the next picture, once you put on the outer armor, you actually lose all of that detail. So, not quite sure why they're going to so much effort. I mean, obviously, you could display the model without some of the armor, but I found it looks a bit odd. This is quite interesting as a color comparison, just showing the original inner frame on the left uh, in its colored plastic versus the right, where I've tinted the the red with a, a bit of black, I think it was like 20 parts red to one part black, just to darken that up a bit. Here's the frame fully assembled. So I think this must have taken me six months in total, so I was quite happy to start working on the, the brighter red parts next. So much beautiful detail there. You can just see all the articulation. And obviously the panel washes do help bring out that detail. It's such a shame to be covering that up. That's the first start on the outer red armor. Quite a nice color comparison or color contrast. This is quite interesting to see the the white uh, plastic on the sprue, looking you know quite quite shiny, uh, quite plain. So quite cool to see. You know, here I've got the parts pre-shaded and and uh, painted, just bringing out a bit more detail. Looks a bit odd without the panel washes, but you'll see here once the decals and the panel washes are applied, here I've used a, a medium to dark gray panel line. The panel wash just looking a lot more realistic and more complete. And here's the shoulder complete with the uh, outer red armor and white armor, all pre shaded and panel washed. The hands took quite a long time, as you can imagine, I ended up pulling the fingers apart. Needed to use some sort of liquid mask to protect the white from painting the red. Painted the red the same dark inner red frame color, just to keep that consistent. Here you can see me peeling away a bit of the, the mask, just showing how it's protecting the white frame. Color comparison, just again, and also just showing a bit of how more complete it looks once you've clipped off the sprue and you've cleaned it up and sanded it and painted it. it. It looks quite cool. And there they are complete uh, with the stickers applied on the digits and I also did an enamel wash along the, the digits just to bring out a bit more of that, that detail. The head was quite fun to work on because it had you know dark red, light red and white components as well as a bit of grey. Uh, so quite an interesting piece to work on, quite fun to, to get that done and to put that onto the, the model.
This image shows uh, some pre-shading on the lighter red armor. I think I just applied one coat of red paint, so you can still see a lot of the pre-shade shining through. And that's all the inner frame and the red armor applied. It's already starting to look quite complete. Then I started with the white armor. Here you can see also pre-shading applied in the enamel wash. Just did it all in one go. Just working my way you know, from one leg to the other up to the top of the body. So that must have taken me another six months to do the, the outer armor in total. So this is almost complete. Just needed to do the white parts in the arm. Uh, my next slideshow, I'll show you the piece fully assembled. Hope you enjoyed.